I mean, there's compromises that I need to make personally, but there's usually compromises that the material needs to make because um, the uh, at the point that it gets into my hands, the script is a is a document that is um, has been written to uh, attract talent and in, and money to a certain extent, and to sort of motivate me and everybody else. But there's there's a lot of practical filmmaking. Uh, thinking that needs to then go into it uh, and usually like it's to do with the number of story days the number of different locations uh, that often you know the, the film physically can't accommodate uh, sometimes in terms of money but often in terms of time you know if there's more locations or uh, sets than there are day filming days it means you have to move from one to another within a day yeah um, if you have to move you know, three times within a day, that means you don't film anything really. So uh, sometimes there's a lot of, uh, so one of, one of the, that's the big compromise usually for the, the material itself is to, is to break it down into, a, a, into manageable chunks. But usually there is more film than there are resources to make it. And one of the things that a designer does is, uh, is work out you know how to realize the pictures that are on the page whether they're on location whether they're in the studio whether the um, uh, whether the location like in the case of the film I'm working on now we can't physically afford to build the sets that are set in England in England so I'm involved in that decision of going and doing that somewhere else though sometimes that decision's already been made when I arrive um, and then it, it's usually a, a process of consolidation of, of reducing the um, usually the amount of physical sometimes reducing the amount of physical spaces and also the uh, number of story days often which can because uh, it, it's time as well as money that really um, you know restricts filmmaking so uh, if you've got to move through a hundred different spaces in the space of 40 days of filming you're going to spend a lot more time moving than filming. Um, and so I'm often one of the first logistical heads that comes in and makes those, and points that out. Uh, and there's often things in the script that are easy to change to make it logistically more friendly. And there's usually some things in the script that are very difficult, logistically, uh, difficult to change to make it logistically more friendly, but so usually it's a bit of both. I mean, I suppose we need, we always need to deal with the audience's expectations of what something would have been like. Um, but often, so I suppose if we keep one foot in within that expectation, then just take it in the direction that uh, the, the story needs it to go. And I, in the case of the dust chest, for example, it was to radically increase the scale of the world that the Duke lived in um, to make him uh, seem enormously wealthy by our by today's standards um, I think that's often one of the the main things about movies people are used to seeing very big spaces in the movies so uh, as soon as a character's in a movie he needs or she needs um, you know perhaps a, a bigger canvas than would be real